So it doesn't look too bad. So these are your total signal. Total signal right now, it's less than 10 hertz. We're getting some matches here, you see? You see, we're getting the, the trigger. We're triggering, we're triggering on your AND signal, you see? Sir, right here, okay? So when they both show up, it's good. And they both show up more, more than one, one yeah. per second, seems like, okay? So that's why you need to take long wave counts, and you need to know the singles, the singles counts for both to take into account of that, okay? And the singles counts will vary dramatically as you change the voltage, you see? So that's why it's best to keep the voltage fixed, measure your singles count, and then do the number more, uh, more uh, appropriately. You see, I, I use the number of the scope. Actually, you should use the numbers from the counter. Okay. So it seems like we are, even with the 100,000 on the other channel, yes. the chance, the, 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 the coincidence is, is low. The chance coincidence. Okay. And it looks pretty low according to this. Yeah. Okay. But this is total right now. Yeah. This is total. Okay. An actual coincidence. Yes, which is the sum of your chance coincidence plus your genuine event, events, okay? So what I recommend to do is keep all these numbers fixed. We, yeah, write all down the thresholds because we can come back to it, right? Can you make a nice table, right? Write out, uh, okay, let me just give me my, give, get, get, can you get his, 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 his book, yeah. Yeah, write down a nice table. Can I, can I get that piece of paper? I'm just going to write it on, on here, okay? So make a nice table, right? Do you have another piece of paper you said you have? Okay, all right. so you make a nice table, right? 